Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from a brand called Tahitian Sun. This is a brand that, um, they're not like huge on Instagram or any kind of social media like that, but I was able to find them through Bethany Housewife Nails. Um, they're a really, really cute polished brand uh, that has like a sanded top and a artificial sea um, starfish, an artificial starfish on the top of their bottles. They are very unique, very, very unique um, packaging and this is just something that I wanted to try out. These were not sent to me. Um, I purchased them by myself, but either way you will get an honest opinion on all of them. So this is their Neon Collection. It is available now in the description box below. I will link Tahitian Sun's Instagram page as well as their shop. I will also link my Instagram page where I will have more swatches of this collection. I have previously posted a video of how well they water marble, but I actually hadn't swatched them until like three months later, so there's that. So there are six neons here, and let's go ahead and get started. So the first polish here is called Neon Pink. Um, I did want to address the fact that these don't have like real names. They are just neon whatever the color is. So making this one Neon Pink. I also wanted to note that there is no label on the bottom of any of my bottles. I don't know if that is per the usual for this brand because this is the only collection I have purchased from them, but mine have no labels. I also wanted to show a close up of the cap, how super cute this is. And then just really quickly show the brush, which is something that I would kind of like to start doing if it's something that you're interested in. I know a lot of people um, really care about what brushes come in. So these are thin-ish. They're not essie thin, but they are by no means thick. Anyway, the first polish, neon pink. And this is just a neon pink cream polish. So here's our first coat of neon pink. This actually has a really, really great formula, very easy to use, very easy to work with. They all kind of consistently have this same easy formula. This covers great on one coat, but I can see a little bit of my nail line, so I am going to go in for two coats. So here's the second coat. This one does cover completely in two. This does dry down to a matte finish, so if you don't like that, you will want a glossy top coat. These also are cream polishes, so they are going to be very easy to use, uh, remove. <laughs> so there's two coats. So next up here we have Neon Orange, and this is a bright neon macaroni and cheese orange cream polish. So here's our first coat of Neon Orange. This also has a phenomenal formula, easy to use, easy to work with. This does cover evenly, um, but I can again see a little bit of my nail line, so I am going to go in for a second coat. But for a neon orange, I am very impressed with this coverage. So here's the second coat. This one does cover completely in two coats, and I really appreciate the fact that it is not only opaque in two coats, but it uh, doesn't need a white base coat. This one also dries down matte, so you will want a glossy top coat for it. So there's two coats. Next up we have Neon Yellow, and this is a super bright neon highlighter, almost kind of limey, green undertoned yellow neon polish. So here's our first coat of Neon Yellow. And as you can see, it does have like a hint of lime to it. Um, again, great, easy to work with formula, not too thick, not too thin, doesn't run or pool or anything of that sort. Um, it is a little bit streaky, patchy, and sheer on this first coat, so I am going to go in for a second coat. This doesn't cover completely in two coats. It's just a little bit patchy still, um, but it is very bright, very vibrant on the nail, um, which I really, really appreciate from a neon. But here is the third coat, and this one does cover completely in three coats. Again, it will dry matte, so if you don't like that finish, you will want a glossy top coat. So there's three coats. Next up we have Neon Green and it is coming off way more subtle on camera than it is in person. This is a super bright highlighter neon green cream polish. So here's our first coat of Neon Green and this one has the sheerest 
uh, finish of all of them so you will definitely need to build this one up or wear it over a white whatever your preference is. Here's our second coat and this is still going to be shy of opaque um, for me anyway. It will also dry matte just like the rest of them so you will want a glossy top coat. But the formula on these is pretty across the board as in thickness, not too thick, not too thin, didn't run, pull, anything of that sort. But here is the third coat and it is completely opaque. So there's three coats. Next up we have neon blue and this I would say is the least neon of this collection. Um, it is very bright but it is very not not neon per se to me. I could be completely wrong, I'm not sure. But this is a, a cream polish. I also wanted to note since I saw it right now that some of these polishes have like these little dots in them. Um, I have gotten them on my nail before. They cover um, decently if you add another coat to it, but sometimes you can still make them out on your nail. So it is just something to note. It's not a deal breaker in my opinion. It is just something I noticed and wanted to be made aware. Here's our first coat of Neon Blue. This is pretty good coverage on this first coat. It is still a little bit streaky and I can still see my nail line so I am going to go in for a second coat. This one, um, I will say, didn't stain my nails but I'm not the easiest stainer of all so I can't guarantee it won't but this is the kind of blue that usually does stain. So here is the second coat and this one does cover completely in two coats for me. This again dries down matte, so you will want a glossy top coat if that is not your thing. So there's two coats. And the last polish is Neon Purple, and this is another one that's not so, so bright. I guess purple and blues just aren't necessarily as bright, which makes sense. Um, this is more like a fuchsia-y purple in my opinion, but it is a cream polish. Here's our first coat of Neon Purple. Again, same great, easy to work with formula across the board. These are phenomenal to work with. And it's going to drive me absolutely up a wall that I missed that spot on my middle finger. So there's one coat and here is our second coat of Neon Purple. This one does cover completely in two coats. Depending on your application here, you may actually need three coats because as it dried I feel like I maybe saw a little bit of my nail line, but that could just be me imagining this didn't stain either. So something that actually really, really bothers me about um, the brand or the packaging or whatever you want to call it itself is that none of them have names, none of them have labels. Um, and if you look online, it's just like neon yellow, neon blue. Um, so that kind of bothers me. It's not a deal breaker because polishes themselves are really nice, um, but it is bothersome to me. But either way, from this collection, uh, my favorite is this neon yellow. It's just so bright, so bold, so beautiful, so highlighter without needing a white base. It's just really, really perfect. It has a fantastic formula. So I hope to get a whole lot of use out of this in the summer, but who really knows what I'm going to be wanting to wear because I still am in this phase where I want to wear all things like dark emerald green and, you know, doesn't go with the season, but makes me happy. And that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this collection. If you plan on picking any of them up or giving Tahitian Sun a look. Let me know what your favorite was from this collection. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. And I'll talk to you guys again next time.